I'm Riff. And I'm Ricky. And today, we're at a secret swap meet. We're not telling anybody. Let's go. It's the Pixel Game Squad. Here we go, Ricky. First thing, look at this. Bootleg Pac-Man bucket hat. Oh, it's from 7-Eleven. Hey, this is 7-Eleven. I feel oh, like some cool. people collect this kind of stuff. Like when it's like, you know, a little promo item. That's kind of right, cool. One little item so far. Oh, oh God, this is Sag, Sag. <laughs> Eureka, I found it. Ricky, you're so stupid. But hey, look, there was two different styles. Oh, look at one with the tight, one with the loose. A few bucks each, bro. I'm in on this for sure. I bet you there's collectors for this. Oh, for sure. I'll bet you. You know who you could be with that? You know the crazy taxi guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's body time. That dude. The guy that goes, yeah, man. Stop raising! I won't do it anymore. You guys stop filming me. I'm done. So I'm done. I'm done. I want to be Ricky's baby. Wait, wait. Go. Dang it. Nope. Oh. <laughs> All right, listen. I uh, calculate for the wind factor that wasn't there. That might have been the worst shot I've ever seen in my life. I'm it might have been the wind from the freeway. Dude, I I don't know. I can't tell. The tag's all worn out, but this could be a vintage Pumba. And Pumba I think that's pretty dope. Do you like Pumba better or Timon, though? You really think I look fat? <sighs> Pumba, Pumba, Pumba. Oh, that's a good question. I think it's Pumba, because he's such a he's so disgusting and awesome. You're a pig. It's a compliment. Oh, thank you. I think I like Timon better, but they're both great. Let me see. Does it do anything? I don't think it does anything. Special. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. Slimy? They yet satisfying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Slimy? Yet satisfying. That's such a great scene. I like that you can storm underneath the tunnel. That's pretty cool. That is cool. It's like the PlayStation theme blobs. What is that? The portal set? So we're at the new swap meet and haven't seen anything yet, but then I see this booth with a bunch of Skylander stuff. For all the people that, that spent all that money on those ones that just came out. Dang, and look at all these. A whole bunch of Skylanders. Ooh. There might be some interest in this for me. I don't know much about Skylanders, but you know, every once in a while people say you should pick them up. And immediately I'm like, okay, you know, I don't know that much about Skylanders, but once in a while I feel like if you see a big bag of something, it's always best to ask, what's your price? So this might be something, Ricky. Oh, that's oh, cool too. Oh, pins. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Right. Signs of life, Ricky. Lots of signs of Look, life. What we don't like about this? It's 10. Oh, not by the hair of my chinny chin, 10. He says 10 bucks. There's at least, I, if I have to honestly, realistically speak, I think there's at least 30 Skylanders in there. So at that price, for sure, there's gonna be some decent ones in there. And right there, what a start. Already at the shh, secret swap meet. Nobody needs to know where we're at. Never giving away swap meet locations again. <laughs> Xbox, 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 Xbox Vita. Is this in here? Is this in here? Let's see if this is in here. Probably not, that's my guess. No, it is. Hello. This one, too. Oh. Ricky, what the heck are you looking at? Show me, Ricky. Lightsaber. Oh, 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 oh. Is that the good Disneyland one? Yeah, dude, look at this. It's actually really both. Yeah, well, these are the nice ones from Disneyland, bro. It oh, makes a noise. Them here. Ricky, if there's ever something you needed, today is the day. I feel like you need that, Ricky. I don't know if I need it, but. Curtis, Curtis. Ricky, 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 oh, Ricky. Oh, purple too. Dude, purple's the rare one, the legendary. Yeah. That's Windus. What'd you call me? <laughs> Mace. <laughs> oh, wow. That's nasty. Ricky's okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll do 65. It's cool. We just said yes. I just saw the head shake. What's up, bros? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Ricky, did you do it? I did it. Ricky's in. Let's go. I knew it was going to happen. I don't know why I bought it. That's pretty cool, bro. Come on. You can smack Curtis around with it for a little bit. <laughs> so I was looking. I didn't even look yeah. like when I was in there. I didn't even, I wasn't looking at prices. He said five bucks each on games. Yeah. And that's always like gamble worthy. Look at this. I picked this one up just because it's like a, a popular title, obviously. 
I don't need this for the collection, nor do I need this, but I was like, I'll take it for five bucks. And then look at this. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're supposed to all know and help each other out in the community when we know something gnarly is going on, something big in the community, something I would dare say groundbreaking. Something is, something is. So I was talking with Chris, as you guys all know from the show the other day, and he was like, hey, just so you know, there's some big auctions going off. And he told me this because some of his stuff, some of the gnarly stuff that he has being auctioned off. And I was like, I haven't heard about this, what's happening? And then he proceeds to tell me about Landry Pop, LandryPop.com, an auction, a big auction going on. And you're probably saying to yourself, what the heck is that? Are you doing a sponsor? No, this is something that's so much bigger than that to me. LandryPop.com, I found out, literally just found out about an auction they have coming up. And it's like some stuff that I'm super stoked to even put my own bids on. I'm talking like really stoked. But just so you know and have some inside scoop because I think it's important, the company is Landry Pop Auctions. And it was founded by Travis Landry. And for this kind of stuff, I think community trust is huge. And Travis Landry is like a regular featured appraiser on all things pop culture, all things in that realm on Antiques Roadshow. So he knows what he's doing. He knows what's happening. And this is huge. Everything in the sale is consigned by people, collectors, ETC, like you and I. And like I said, even Chris, even good old Christo from the show, he's got NES sealed games, which I'm 100% printing offers in on. I'm looking right now at some of the lots that are in there. There's a 1994 Nintendo merchandising Mario Awards bronze Mario trophy. Holy crap. A Pokemon Sapphire and Ruby for GBA, both CGC 9.2 sealed. There's a NES Clue Clue Land test cartridge. Please y'all, um, I love you all, but okay. Can I get the bids on that one? Maybe, maybe, maybe skip over that one. Also, I'm seeing an NES Little Mermaid CGC 9.4 sealed. Metroid Prime 2 Echoes 9.8 sealed. And I know what you're probably thinking a full transparency rift. Do you get like money if people like sell this stuff? Is Chris gonna give you money? No, this is nothing to do with me in any way. I thought it was just so cool. Chris is like, this is a good friend of mine. I've known him forever. This company is doing so awesome. I was like, dude. Let me talk to them. I'd love to talk about it because I feel like this is the kind of stuff that we should be talking about within the retro community because when new things like this happen and people don't know about it, you gotta spread the good word. Why am I sitting like a freaking bum right now? So the auction is Tuesday, October 8th at 11 a.m. EST. That's LandryPop.com. Check it out. I'm gonna be there. I think it's super cool, super interesting. They also did tell me they had some like super rare comics, which I know nothing about comics. So I was like, can you tell me like some of the cool ones? Cause Chris was freaking out too about them. They got a Superman number one 19 39 CGC 1.8, a fresh to the market Captain America comics number one, 1942. That is one of only two signed by Jack Kirby. That's cool. Y'all, this is really cool stuff, really exciting stuff for the community. When new things like this happen, it's just fun to support. So make sure you support LandryPop.com. I'm Chris is like, dude, I am telling you, these people are awesome. This is this is great. Let's get behind it. So I'm behind it. LandryPop.com, Tuesday, October 8th, 11 a.m. EST. Go check out, I have a description down below. I'll put the link in there. Again, I'm not getting jack from you clicking on anything like that. I just know that community stuff like this is super cool, super exciting. So let's do it together. I'll see you there. I'll see you Tuesday, October 8th, 11 a.m. LandryPop.com. CIB, a Dang. $45 game. <laughs>
Do you think I can make it in our car? Actually, I can't. That light taper's on there. I feel like I'll break it with Oh, this. I was like, do it, dude. I'll film it. <laughs> All right, never mind. Ooh, holly, lolly, lolly. Yo, look at how clean these are. So we go into a booth and, well, actually, change. We don't go into a booth. I'm walking by a booth and I hear, Riff! Wow, those are clean. Ooh. I'll have to look and see what we need because we're tight at this point. But I don't know, there's some good titles in there. Oh, how much is NES Classics? Uh, the complete one is 80 and the one that's missing the tower and HDMI for 45. Wow. And it's a fan of the show. Super cool guy. Hey, Curtis, Riff, Ricky, he knows met Chris and everything, so super awesome. We start looking and he has a bunch of cool stuff in this booth. Let's see, I might get that. Wow, okay, yeah, I might be interested in these, actually. I see some NES classics, some other things, but the thing that really, really, really catches my eye, my eye is like the best looking color scheme, the best colorway for a Superboy by Hyperkin. So far, so far, check this out. Turtles 3, Ricky, nice. Mutant Nightmare. This Dig Dug, the cover art, look at this. Dig Dug Digging Strike. What a cool artwork. And then the Superboy. Oh. If you don't know what these are, these are basically a portable way you can play your Super Nintendo and the Superboys are kind of known as like the good ones. They're the ones you want. So when I saw it and I saw it in that color, now that's a thumbnail shot for you audience. Look like this. No, that's too fake. Can't do, can't do retro Rick face. I just gotta, you know. <laughs> Bundled in with a bunch of other stuff. Ricky's buying stuff, Curtis is buying stuff. I got uh, stuff. I got some sealed WWF stuff. Nice. Some, uh, these cool, these are actually going for the shelf. I collect these, these. Nice. I didn't have the pink one. I think I have the green one, but it's got the tag. And then Mega Man. You got Aladdin, Gauntlet, Mega Man, and Princess Peach. Ricky, nice. I got the Superboy, all that stuff I showed earlier, but then I did throw in Street Fighter because it was really clean. This is how you get the good deals. I couldn't say no. It's so pretty, it's so vibrant. When I opened it up and looked at it, it was just perfect. Dare say as perfect as Ricky's body after a fresh run in the morning. That's sweaty. Mm. Ricky! What in the world right now? Oh, there's, there's games, by the way, too. <laughs> but I was looking at this. Holy moly. Keep looking that at Bob Mario. awesome. Ricky doesn't want me to look at the games. <laughs> Ricky wanted to snake me. I mean, there's good games in here. There's, I used to rent this game, Ricky, all the time. Hey, Punk, are you tough enough? Dude, that was all, that had a good case every time. I that think. was a rental for me. That was a good rental. That was Ooh. a rental. Yo, look at that. Shit. That's Don Vito Mario. That's sick, actually, dude. <laughs> it is really What's sick. That guy? 30 30, I'm like, dude, that's a sick podcast piece. That is a sick podcast Kurto. piece. Kurto. <laughs> What's that one? Let me see. Whoa, he has a wild look. Look at those eyes. Those eyes. Dude. He's got the crazy eyes. Put oh, the little spin Mario. It's like the one Ben got. And this one here, look at Ricky. Oh my gosh. This Kirby is this Kirby is really clean out here. Labels that nice are just so hard to to come by in the wild. Ricky, you getting it? Yeah, I'm getting it. Let's go. He knocked the, down five bucks too, so I was like, all right, cool. The Don Vito Mario. That thing is really cool. That's gonna look cool on the podcast, actually. It's not going on the podcast. <laughs> Ricky, finally, finally not buying plush. Ricky's putting it on the shelf. Hey, Riff. Yo. Dog, so I just bought, you saw that Godfather Mario I bought? Yeah. He's selling the buff one for 25 for you if you want. He said he's 25? He knocked off 10 bucks if you want it. Can I see the buff Mario? You know why I'm interested in him? That's how I look with my shirt off. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I mean, it is the same build as me. Obviously, I'm a little bit stronger than him, a little bit buffer. I think it's just so weird and so freaking odd that it would look fun on the podcast table. I'll buy it. Ricky, thank you for convincing me. Look at that baby right there. This is one sexy Mario, you know? This is the sexiest I've ever seen Mario. Look at those tattoos too, my boy. Watch this shot. Look at these, Ricky. Giant dead stock Tommy Hilfiger, like keyboard setups. I'm buying, I'm buying two of these. I'm buying two of these. These are clean as a whistle. 
Take it too. <laughs> so Rakito, I picked up those, these right here to flip straight up. These are 80 bucks each on eBay. Heck yeah. That's so and they're brand about. new. They're dead stock. They're nice. You know, 80 bucks each. I got Designer them for 10 each. Keyboards. Designer Ooh. keyboards. Oh, and I did get some bootleg, bootleg, like legit China looking from the, I think they're vintage or like early 2000s NES games. I'll have to show you guys, oh, but they're like disgusting. <laughs> I got it. I, you know, it's funny, Ricky, as what? I was leaving my house this morning, yeah. I sprayed my last squirt of the Versace and I ran out and I was like, dude, I hope I find it today. It's the right one. Whoa. This is the one that I always buy. Me, oh, you and Gabe. Versace, Spanish version. <laughs> Ooh, Versace, yeah. It's this one, this is the best smelling one. If you guys good. ever get Versace, get the Por Home. It smells, here, smell right here on my the arm, The Por Home? Yeah, it's strong. What are you talking about my home? Ooh, that is smells good. <laughs> Ooh, that is smells good. <laughs> oh God, nobody take my camera. Load it up. Load it up. Load it up. And something you may be noticing right now, I might have got another pickup, a big pickup, and I'm talking. A big thing. So yeah, I bought myself a Sprinter. And the opposite of the Sprinter is these four NES games which technically count for the set. Look at this. So I love bootleg, I love weird, I love funky. These have gotta be like, China at all costs, but look, Shark Tale, Diddy Kong, Mario, Guile, Shenmue, freaking racing, Link, Dragon Ball, Pikachu, just cars on the back, and this is what these look like. Freaking weird. There's four of them, they're all different. All the labels are actually different in all of these. Are they cool? Not really. I looked them up on eBay, they're probably worth about $100 for all four of them anyway, so cool item different because they're weird. I mean, look at Jungle Book. We'll have to pop these in another day because they are technically interesting for being as stupid as they are. That's adding four more games onto the set. I don't care what anybody says. Guess how many games we have in the set. Guess. 782. <laughs> I don't even know. 760 on the dot Ooh. NES games in our set of goodness. I was off by this much. Samsonite, I was this off. Way off. Oh. Let's get a taste test though. That's that was a very fancy looking churro booth. Oh, good. Really? Soft. Oh, okay. Kurto? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> How much are the masks? I got no response. Look at this. Barbie Toys R Us. That is like the coolest thing. It's just too cool, I couldn't pass it up. And then this, honestly, I don't necessarily think it's the coolest thing in the world, but it was 10 bucks. 10 bucks, I actually, I'm gonna be honest, I got them to 20 for both. 20 bucks for both of these, Ricky? You know what they call that in Mexico? Very good deal. Stop raising! Curtis is debating buying this right now. Normally we would say no and yell at him, but now that I have the Sprinter van, bro, buy whatever you want, bro. Don't expect me to carry that, though. No, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that clip where I got the Barbie and Ninja Turtle was, we had it all on camera for everybody to watch, but Ricky wasn't recording on as usual. I didn't know it, so uh, yeah, that's my fault. I know. What an idiot. How much is this guy? 50. 50 bucks? Is this thing 50 or 15? 50. It's pretty nice though, dude. It's, it's tall. What do you guys think? Pull that, pull it. Somebody do a test. It's got the same drag, like with the... Bro, I have the extender. Pull it, Ricky. Give it a good old... Let me see, let me see. Give it a good old Mexipol. Hmm. Well, we got it. Look how deep it is. See, there's the normal cart, and look at that one. See, like bigger, little, yeah. deeper, wider, stronger. Isn't that a song? Bigger, deeper, faster, strong, something like that. I don't know, bro. It's the Pixel Game Squad. Here's a booth with stuff. Ooh, even some shirts. I like how I go immediately to the 
the shirts, even though there's games everywhere. Yeah. I'm like, ooh, Indian motorcycle, that's actually sick. Yeah. You know, when you see a reseller booth, but you don't know the reseller, you never know what you're gonna get when you're at a new swap meet. Ooh, look at this. I love me some Wiimotes. How clean is this Doom? My goodness. Immediately, I see like a super clean Doom on the PlayStation. It's the long box, the manual's perfect, the back of the disc is perfect. This is one of those things when you see it in that condition, especially long box PlayStation 1 stuff, that stuff goes bad really quick. The Doom is right around what it goes for, but again, the condition is clean, you're paying for condition, but then I see a PS3 on the table with a bunch of controllers. All right, so you said 100 bucks, with the controllers, tested working with tested cables. Working. So he immediately says 100 bucks, the PlayStation is already tested and working with cables with box for 100 bucks isn't bad, but then he goes, dude, I'll throw in the three controllers on top of it. If I bought this, what's the cheapest you could go on that Doom, Doom over there? Doom. We did a bundle deal, got that for 100, got Doom down to 65, 165 bucks out the door for really clean stuff that is super awesome, I love it. Sure, 165, why not? Thanks, bro, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Look over there. <laughs> Who knew? That's good. A different swap meet, don't know the vendors, don't know the people. The day's going great. All right, Riggy, we're gonna test it, let's see. Oh. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, Ricky. It even came with a... I shouldn't have done that. That really smelled weird, to be honest. It actually did not smell good. You know, Ricky? You were wrong about coming here. I you said you didn't want to come here because there's not enough Mexicans. That's crazy! This is where my dad goes and my brother. What are you talking about? That's two Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> Pero no sé cómo. Es lo que quería también dije, y le se la quiero sacar. All right, that was Curtis. You're gonna have to come over here. Let's check this out. So that last booth was unreal. So right crazy. now we're in that season, Christmas, Halloween. Especially Nightmare Before Christmas stuff is super collectible. Super. This guy had so much stuff, Nightmare Before Christmas, lying around the Dude. whole booth. And the thing is, this might look silly. But this kind of stuff, huge collectors for. There's tons of like little knickknacks. The big one that I found, I'm not gonna be honest, I let each one of them grab one too. <laughs> I was like, should I grab all three and not tell them to spread the wealth? He sold us these for 15 bucks each. These literally sell. It's like one of those items that's hot on eBay. Tons of sold, 120 Ooh. to 160 all day. Tons of them. I got Oogie Boogies. We got blow ups for my kids. Night before Christmas, plushies and light ups and just, I can't even pull it through, Funko Pops, probably 60 items each we got. Dude. And we probably spent close to that each. Dude, Unreal. we didn't spend much on there. I need your help more than anyone's. You certainly do, Jack. Collect value for us is gonna be fun because there's stuff like my kid wants an Oogie Boogie blow up, I got one for him. And then on top of it, stuff to resell for sure, 100%. Join us on Whatnot, not sponsored today, but totally please come and check it. Use the link down below, <laughs> check it out. You get free 15 bucks, not sponsored, but still do it, do it. Do it. You don't, hey. you don't do it. Did you know we, we put a Whatnot on that one show and That's we didn't end up doing that. it? <laughs> Let's break it, let's go. Go, Ricky, go. Go, hey, hey, go. It's not. Where? I'm telling Ricky, hey, you idiot. That's not how you do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at him go. Look at him go, dude. Sheesh! Oh, quick, do it now! Dude, my kids would love this. Quanto? I give it for 230. 230? You can check online. Oh, the online? <laughs> Back home, ending this video in the weirdest way possible. Got a bunch of graded games right here. Let's go through, super quick, the grades and the games. Crash Bandicoot, Game Boy Advance, 9.8. Spyro, Season of the Flame, 
9.8. Van Helsing, 8.5. Four of these Impossible Mission 2s on the NES, all are 9.8s except for one. Sorry, it's messy in here. I'm in the middle of doing a bunch of different projects as we speak, a 9.9A++. That is a grade, y'all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Shoot.